Hi folks, today I'm going to compare Google My Maps to BatchGeo.com. Uh, if you've never used Google My Maps, it's pretty easy. You just go to maps.google.com and click on the My Maps link. Um, I've already created my own map here, just give it a title, haven't done anything else. I'm going to um, add a point now by right clicking on the map and clicking Add a Place Mark. Once I do that, uh, I have this little pop up here. I can type in a title and a description, and then I'll hit OK. Now I have a place mark on my map. And basically, to add the points, I would be doing this for each place mark um, one by one. And it's kind of a slow process. Um, I assume that most people already have address information in some kind of form or another already um, in your own data set. So uh, if you do have your data already all together, then I suggest using Batch Geo. Batch Geo is quite a bit faster in that case. Um, I've already created a map here using Batch Geo. Um, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit the map. Um, this is the edit screen. I'm just going to pop down to where the data is stored here. It's stored in a spreadsheet format. I can click and then copy it back over into my spreadsheet. Or if you already have a spreadsheet with all the data that you used to create the map, you can just open up the original copy. And you can make all your changes using the spreadsheet. You don't have to click one by one around a map making changes to markers one by one. It's really easy to do batch operations like getting rid of a column or adding a column or changing the name of a column. Um, and you can do all this without clicking one by one through a map. It makes it very easy to manage your data. All of your data stays in a format that you're familiar with in a spreadsheet. Um, there's no uh, clicking around some proprietary interface. So I just made some changes. I changed mail to email and uh, I want to see what that looks like. I just hit validate. I'm going to hit update map down here. Now the uh, mail, instead of saying mail, it says email and that was very easy, very fast. I can also drag the markers like I could in Google My Maps, change them that way. Uh, when I do that, all my coordinates will update in here. So when I copy it back over in the spreadsheet, those will be maintained. So it's pretty easy um, to use Batch Geo, I think, to do these kinds of maps. You have other options. You can set a URL, unique URL for your map. It's very easy to remember. Um, you can do things like uh, disable uh, the expiration of the map. It'll always stay on forever. You can create locators for your map. You can disable advertisements on the map. And you can make a much more streamlined map interface than I think uh, Google My Maps, as you can see here. The, uh, m the map can also contain a legend, which you see all these are in a legend, so that when I uh, click on the legend, the points will hide and display depending on which item in the legend I click and that's the uh, advantage of Batch Geo. So Google My Maps pretty easy to use, has some features that are pretty cool but um, overall I think Batch Geo has a lot more features and uh, is a lot um, faster to edit all your information. So uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks a lot.